morning, I'm Pastor Keith Walter from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town on the island of Oahu. Welcome to morning prayer for Monday, March 21st, 2022. I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I am going to use morning prayer for individual use from the prayer book for the armed services. It's a little uh, traveling book that you can actually take with you wherever you go. We have some copies. If you would like one, uh, just let me know. Uh, it's full of great prayers and psalms and uh, litanies, and uh, it's got the small catechism in it. Uh, it's a pretty good book. I like the morning prayer in this. It's a couple minutes longer, but not too much longer. And I'd like to try using it once a week uh, at and see how that goes, and you can let me know how you like it. Here we go with the opening. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And a morning psalm of praise, a psalmody, the 67th. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May the light of God's face shine upon us. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth its increase. God, our own God, has blessed us. May God give us blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe. And the reading for today is the Old Testament reading from Isaiah that we read yesterday in church. Isaiah 55, one of my favorite passages uh, in Isaiah. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your thoughts, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. E pule kako, let us pray. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially, I pray, for those who govern nations of the world, for the President of the United States, 
and for the president of the Ukraine, Joe Biden, Vladimir Zelensky, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, especially Ukraine, and the peoples of Eastern Europe, and the peoples of Ethiopia. For all who work for peace and international harmony, especially Doctors Without Borders and Lutheran Disaster Response. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, we especially pray for all those organizations in Hawaii who are struggling to save our islands. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land, for our own Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, and for the Evangelical Lutheran Church of the Ukraine. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give me faith to go out with courage, not knowing where I go, but only that your hand is leading me, and your love supporting me. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now may God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit watch over you and direct your days and your deeds in divine peace. Amen. <laughs>